back this morning, brought Ellie with. Um, so I've got Ellie and Bella. Um, we're just gonna get a little bit of work in here this morning because it is heating up quite a bit. Gonna be in the, probably in the upper 80s today. It's a little bit later than I wish we were working. It was pretty cool this morning, but that sun is real hot. So we're not gonna push it too much. Um, you'll notice I put her on a lead again. Ellie, heel. Ellie, heel. So I brought the tennis racket. I've got a dummy launcher with me today. Um, we're gonna work from a different, a few different spots um, in this, this area, this kind of general training area that we've got. We do have some fresh planted um, food plot there that I like because of the color contrast. I like that brown. Um, I'm torn because I don't necessarily like running dogs over it after I seeded it down, but um, I do like the idea of it being the ability for us to be able to have some color contrast there. I'm gonna work on a little bit of marking. That's why I brought Ellie with today. Um, yesterday we had a really nice session with Bella where we incorporated some of the, some of the more specific skill stuff, the stopping of the whistles, um, some lefts, some rights. She did a real nice job for us. Uh, back casted well. Later in the afternoon, I did a, a few drills with her um, where I put, I dropped some tennis balls. Good. I dropped some tennis balls way down at the shop, healed her back, stopped her to a whistle, sent her back. So kind of stretched her out. She did a nice job with that as well. So we do, we do have opportunities to practice things. Major difference in focus here. Hey, right here. Big difference in focus between Ellie and Bella, and that's just maturity. Ellie's four years old. So to start this out, I think I'm just gonna shoot a dummy launcher to begin with. Um, and the reason I brought Ellie is because Ellie really needs some work on marking. Um, she does not watch very well. So we're going to send her first to start this out. Um, and we will have, I'm going to send it with the white dummy because I'm going to shoot it across the brown. And I'm actually going to shoot it quite low. I'm not going to shoot it real, real high um, for a couple reasons. It's harder for her to watch. Um, and the other, the other reason is, is it's not very realistic. I don't shoot birds up hundreds of feet. So the, the plane is usually about the top of the treetops. And so, but it's easier for, I think it's easier for her to watch the bird. So we're gonna go relatively low. I've got a, a uh, lower um, load, I've got a yellow load. So, and we're gonna shoot this foam type dummy. Um, which doesn't go nearly as far as those rubber ones. I am going to put a little bit of scent on it anyway, but watch. Ellie. There, very good. She took a nice line to it, which was good. Um, you can see she was a little uncertain and thought about hunting the grass to it here, which is the benefit of having that color contrast. So she, her head, picks her head up and she can see it. Dead, good, good. It's a good, also a good chance for, for Bella there. Um, not only from a steadiness standpoint at the shot, which is, I don't really have an issue with, with her. Um, it's one thing that I don't really think about hardly at all anymore with her is that steadiness. She's just quite steady. Um, but then sending Ellie. Uh, so she, she has shown, Bella has shown me, you know, she's quite polite. She understands her turn. Um, she understands when someone else's name goes, is said. It's not necessarily her turn. Watch. This is what I like is her attentiveness. I like for her to get up and watch when I say watch, stay focused. I actually think Bella marks better than Ellie. I'll be a little more formal with Bella when I get into that position with her. Watch, Bella.
Good girl. Good girl. Doesn't hurt. Easy, 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 easy. You see a lot of excitement out of her, which is, I don't mind that. We've been lacking that lately. Dead. We've been lacking that in her training. She's been a little flat in training. Good. But let's get her back in and just settle her in. Good. Good. Now, I'm gonna leave these two. So I was real happy with that. Now, very simple. Um, not a real complex setup there. Um, I'm gonna leave those two. Ben, you wanna walk with me? Just so our mic stays connected. What I wanna do here is, this is similar. Now we're, we're only about three weeks away from the opener really, September 1st is about a couple weeks, three weeks maybe, a little more than three weeks. Uh, well, less than that, isn't it? It's less than three weeks. So September 1st, we have early dove season. Uh, we have early teal season. We have early goose season. So one of the things I'll have to do with Bella here pretty quick is um, we'll have to put her on a little bit bigger dump, a little bit bigger birds uh, to replicate some of the size of a goose, but I'm gonna put a little scent in these tennis balls. And they're both watching me. So put a little scent into there. Now what I like about doing this right now, the way we're doing it is two dogs on remote sit in the corner. Say we're going out to adjust our decoys or set decoys up or whatever, and we bring the dogs in a hunting scenario and we tell them to sit down and wait. And then we go out and do whatever we're gonna do. And so I, I think it's a real important skill. This is, this is the practicality of, of having a, um, a dog that's real steady and patient. Come over into here. If I had my starter pistol, I could pop a cap there, have them watch to the sound of the gun. Didn't have it with me. Noticing too and really liking is by changing these drills up to make them a little different I look back and I see Bella sitting up the entire time watching not fooling around she's not even panting right now there she opened her mouth a lot of times her mouth is closed she's paying attention pretty well because all of a sudden I think we've got her interest again I think I got a little bit a little bit of my issue was we were a little bored we're doing things a little boring for her. Now they can't see me here. I'm gonna pitch a tennis ball into that cover and I've got a small puppy bumper. We'll throw into that circle. We're gonna come back and do a hunt command in there to finish today. So then we kind of come around. So we're setting this up much like a circle memory, except the dogs didn't come with us this time. Dogs are watching from a distance. And I think it does two things. I think it helps, I hope, my hope with it is it's helping them gauge some distance. From like a marking standpoint, I wanted them to see the dummies. Um, this is asking a little bit more, so it's a little more difficult for them probably to gauge and mark that distance than if someone else were throwing them in and I was sending them, but I don't have a helper right now. It's something that we're gonna to do tonight, actually. I'm going to train with a group of friends and we're 100% gonna work on <clears throat> marking. All the dummies are gonna come from somebody else <coughs> at distances. So then we come back and you can see these two haven't moved. Very good. 
Good. Good. And to start it out, Bella, come here. We're gonna use Ellie. Sit. And so I'm gonna cut. Now, they didn't really see a dummy go in there, but they did in there. They saw the tennis balls into that cover. Um, we've got those over here, and then those there that they don't know about. So, Ellie, we're gonna let her go first. No, leave it. Ellie, go back. Get out. Go back. Get out. Go back. Get out. Get out. Get out. Get out. So not, definitely not the objective of this. The objectives of this was to get her to go to that spot. She didn't remember it. She didn't mark it. She's not a very good marking dog. And I, I would... Go back. You sit up. Get out. I'm just gonna keep putting her in until she until she wins it. She's in that spot now. I'm just gonna look. I can tell because I can see the weeds moving when she's in the area. So an awful lot of work to get that dummy, but we didn't give up. We didn't get frustrated. It would have been easy to. Good, here. Good. Now, is she just running to run, maybe? Not sit, no you don't. Not your turn. This is what she's got to learn. She's got to learn that, you know what? It's not my turn. And I'm gonna to have to sit and watch at times. And that was a lot of handling for her to listen to all those whistles and casts and just have to kind of sit it through. Now, to gain, if, if Ellie had done that a lot better, um, cleaner, I'd probably send Bella. But because she struggled so much for it, she stuck with it. We got the dummy and we got it back. We're gonna send her right back into there. Ellie, go back. Go back. She took the same line out and corrected herself. Get out. Get out.
working that area well, holding it well. She's looking for it in the field. Looking for it in the field where she saw the dummy launcher. So she's got that on her mind. Get out. Head girl. So now, I mean, and I didn't. I didn't recognize it until just now. The reason why she's starting out on that line two times in a row, and the reason she got pulled into there several times, and I actually had to handle her back into the cover, I just didn't think about it. I just sent her over that old dummy. We had shot a dummy there. So in her mind, she goes, there's a dummy out in that field, there's a dummy out in that field. Then we walk out and she remotely maybe sees it, maybe doesn't see it very well that I throw two dummies out. So her memory goes back to the idea of, there's one out in this field, I saw it, I marked it, I watched it, I'll go find it. And so it's, uh, you know, I don't, I'm sending her over this, what they would call an old fall, you know, there's an old bird there. Good. But she fought through that temptation. She, you know, she didn't know, she didn't know if she should believe me 100% or not. She did a nice job. She, the second one back, she held the area much better. The first one, the, way, the first time that I sent her in there and she didn't want to stay in there very much, um, tells me that I don't know that she necessarily was watching or paying attention. I don't know if she was or not, but I made a little noise, so she should have been looking um, when we sent that one in. Now, Bella, here, we're gonna let her rest. She did real well there. I mean, it didn't go very well, but she did her best. She gave me real good effort. I'm more than happy with it. Yeah. Now, tonight when we work on marking, um, would that help improve? Yes, probably, but the other part of it that you gotta think about is, the other part of it is, is she went to an old mark. Like, she went to the spot um, that she saw the mark. Now, a lot of time delayed here for Bella. What we have going for us is, is that's a spot we've picked up a lot of dummies in before. She's used to that hunt command area. What we don't have going for us is there's a lot of distance for us to cover to get there. And does she remember it? I don't know if she'll remember it that long. Is she able to work through the distractions to get to it? I don't know, we'll find out. If she doesn't, I'm not gonna let her break down and hunt short. I'll stop her, recall her, or meet her, I'll go meet her and shorten the distance ascend. I'm moving over a little bit because I want to get a little better angle. Heel. We're really sending her past that point. Here, that's, that's, there's gonna be suction there and that'll be a little difficult for her, good. It'll, the real test will be, did she remember and watch that mark of that tennis ball? Watch, Bella. Here. Here, here, good, good. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Here, 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 no, 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 no. Come on, come on, no, 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 no. Come on, very good. Here, here, here. Right here, get through those distractions, good. Good, same exact heel, same exact thing. That, that old mark is what she's getting sucked to. So let's fix that, help her through that. We're gonna walk her close to it. What I loved about that was her crisp sit to the whistle. And what I found out really, really realized as well is when she's not confident, she's sitting. So, her sit to the whistle is getting much better when she doesn't think she knows what she's supposed to do. That's perfect. Now she's starting to look to me for some help. She sat to the whistle really well right there, like she's done it for a while, where before we're struggling to get her to do that. Well, she didn't know what she was doing. She didn't know what I wanted her to do. So her lack of confidence and trust in me was, okay, I'll sit, I need help. What her problem was is 
She wanted to hunt, 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 which that's a good problem to have. But now we need her to recall beyond some of those distractions, a little crisper. Now, I'm a lot closer. That's what got her attention. Heel, heel. Watch. Got him. Lost. 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 Good. Lost. Go back. Nope. Here. Here. We're going to start over. Here. Make this super easy. Bella. Good. Lost. Lost. Good girl. Lost. Good girl, good dog, very good. Right here, 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 dead. Very good, heel. Now, we're gonna quickly add a little distance to it. Heel, heel, send her right back in. Heel, take a step towards it. Bella. Go back. Go back. Good. Good. Loss. Good loss. Now. Loss, loss. She's trying. Loss, loss. No, 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 no. Come on. No, 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 no. Come on. Loss, loss. Bella, loss, loss. Good girl, loss. Good girl, that's a good girl. Good dog, right here. Good girl, very good. <clears throat> Everything but that little hunt. We had well there, did well. Good, did. Good girl, good. Sit. This is where the heat comes in. Heat comes in, she's distracted, she's Panting heavily. I mean, this is that was hard work on her. We're asking her to use her nose and not cool herself off. Watch. Watch. Heel. So we just now. What my hope is is that we set that up similar to what that mark was to start out with out of the dummy launcher, and she'll have memory of that and create suction to it, and this time we want it. That time we didn't want it. Good, good. Here, now I wanna get her, I'm gonna park her in the shade here. Bella, here, come here. Sit, sit. And we had Ellie a chance to rest a bit. Ellie, here. Ellie, come on, good. Come on, come on. Come on, right here, right here, good. Now she watched the first ones go in. She may or may not have paid attention to that. But now we're gonna get that same retrieve out of her, hopefully, that we were thinking about doing with Bella in the first place. Ellie, go back. That's a little point of suction there. Good girl. Good dog. So that running past that point is a little little hard for them to get through. Good girl. There. Good. 
Good. Here. We'll let her sit down in this shade. Come on. Sit, Bella. Watch. Watch. Heel. She's not, doesn't have that focus. Sit. Watch. Bella. Got to get past there. Good. Good girl, lost. Good girl, lost. No. No. We're going to go quiet there. Good. Lost. Lost. Good. Good. Lost. Good girl, lost. Good girl. There's the tail, look at the tail change. Good girl, lost. Good girl, rooting in there, digging it out. Good girl, lost. She's got wind of it, there's a pile of brush in there, so she's probably trying to dig it out of that pile. You can tell by the tail action that she's got catching, she's touching scent on it. Good, lost. Lost. Good girl. Good dog. Yeah. Very good. Very good. That is a good girl. Good dog. Good. So, building off of that first one where it didn't work, on having her understand and then having her replicate it run past it. Same thing with her, Ellie, when we did that one. Struggled for the first one, replicate it. She did a lot better on the second one. If it were cooler out, we could. I would probably shoot a long dummy into it or set it up and do it again. It's just too warm right now. and um, you know, they're I don't want them to break down because of the heat. I'm not even, we're gonna heal them over. We'll pick these last two, two dummies or a dummy and a tennis ball, heal, heal. Um, we'll make it short, sweet, and end it that way successfully, and then we'll get out of this. Um, here, here, right here. Good. Heel. Ellie, heel. Ellie. Lost. 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 Good law. Good girl. There. Good dog. Good dog. Good dog. Good dog. Ellie. Ha la 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 la. Ha la la la.
good girl. Go on. So that I wanted her to stop. And when she, when I hit that whistle, I want you to stop and look. What do you want me to do? So she had, she had caught wind. And I wasn't sure exactly where that tennis ball was. I knew it was relatively close. So I wanted to stop her, have her focus to me. And a lot of times when I stop them in an area where I think they're close, a lot of times that forces them to slow down enough and look to me that they actually catch wind of it. And then they go, ooh, I got it. And then I can release them to hunt and they're right in it. If I don't, they sometimes are moving so quickly energetically through the area that their nose is not keeping up with their legs and they're moving through too quick. Um, so sometimes, especially with a dog that works really fast, stopping them in the area, giving them a chance to kind of collect themselves and regroup will allow them to keep touch scent on it and make it a lot more efficient of a find. So when you stop them, instead of re releasing them to hunt right away, I do think it's a nice to get that little bit of a level of control as well. It just kind of recollects their thoughts, I think. So that's more than enough today. It's more than enough based on the way they're panting. We go up, we give them a big drink, good drink, and then we'll put both these dogs up. But again, you're starting to see it click with Bella. Um, you're starting to see those skills that we've worked on developing start to click. And it feels really good to see that um, after probably being a little frustrated that it wasn't happening quick enough. And it's just another reminder to me of just be patient. Be patient. It'll happen when it happens, and that's just fine. So we'll heal these guys up, put them up, and we'll be good. Drive on. And I'm damned if I do. And I'm damned.